welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, thanks for joining. Today I want to talk about books. So I'm on TikTok, right? I've fallen down the book talk rabbit hole and I love thrillers in particular and I've read quite a few lately that are very interesting. <laughs> so I'm gonna give you a really quick like you know overall rating and recommendation in case you're looking for something to read. Hopefully this will give you some ideas. So we'll start with the latest one that I've read which is The Inmate by Frida McFadden. I don't know if I'm saying that right or not. This book honestly I would give it probably three out of five. Why? It definitely has, I think, two major plot twists, right? Like, you will be surprised by the end. I'm still not sure I believe the end. Very interesting. Um, but I have to say, the way this book is written really got on my nerves. Like, the narrator, which is the main character, she is always explaining her thoughts to the point that it gets annoying to me. You know, she'll be like she'll do something and be like because this and that or she'll say something like a statement and be like since this and that so she's always explaining there's like a second narration going on in the background and i found that distracting um the book itself is also very slow i think up until like 70 percent and i say that because i read on a kindle so it tells you you know you've read like 70 percent of the book or like however percentage you're in um I actually stopped reading it at 70% because I was like, uh, I don't know if it's worth it. And then I kept seeing TikToks about it and I was like, okay, fine, I'll finish it. And the last 30% of the book has both twists and it does get really crazy. So, you know, I think in terms of twists and unexpectedness, um, I do think it's probably on the like four stars out of five because it does, it's very surprising. Uh, but in terms of like the reading experience and like how engaged you are the entire time it, it cannot get any higher than a three for me so that's the inmate let me take a minute to appreciate how beautiful my kindle is looking look at that style look at the pop socket this is literally just the best next we have the housemaid this is also by Frida McFadden, and I didn't know that <laughs> before I read both of these. Um, she does a really good job on this one, I have to say. The narrating thing definitely was unique to the inmate for some reason, because this one was very engaging. So similarly, it has very crazy twists. The twist in The Housemaid is insane. I did not see that coming at all. Um, and this one actually kept me on my toes the entire time. So I finished it within like a day or two and I definitely did not pause. I wasn't like thinking of leaving it or anything. So I think The Housemaid for sure gets a four out of five. I'm being very stingy with my fives because I want to make sure that they deserve it. And I really haven't read anything just yet that I'm like, oh my god, I'm dying. Um, which is apparently the feeling that I need to get to give a five. But yeah, The Housemaid is very, very engaging. The narration, um, it keeps you on your toes. It's not predictable because I really thought that it was going to be super predictable and then the twist happens and you're like, what? So for sure recommend, pick up The Housemaid and let me know what you think. Okay, next we have What Lies Between Us by John Mars. This book was wild okay this was fucked up like honestly this is really fucked up like i you start reading it and i think it's within the first two chapters they say something at the end of one chapter and like my heart dropped dropped to the floor like truly i was like what is happening and it does keep you engaged um it is a little bit rough for me in terms of the feasibility of this story so these are obviously like fiction um thrillers but the themes in this book are definitely like family dysfunction to the max um emotional instability emotional immaturity and i got very annoyed at some of the characters and the decisions that were made i thought were so dumb and so in terms of how surprising the twist is in terms of how much of a page turner this is I think it's a four out of five for sure I would recommend it's a great read 
Um, in terms of, you know, how the story comes together and again, like I said, the feasibility or like just like the soundness of some of the decisions of these characters, that's at like a two. I don't understand it. <laughs> but the experience of reading it was good. It was definitely interesting. It was definitely on the sicker side, I will say that. Um, in terms of like, it's just, this would, I don't know that this would ever happen. It's like such, again, very poor decision making from, from the um, main characters. But, you know, it was, if you're looking for a thriller that's going to keep you on your toes and you're like, just really confused about what's going on until it all comes together, um, I do think this is a good read. Now for another thriller, we have Run Unread. And this book is about um, two girls are going to a party and they start getting chased down a highway by a truck and things just go crazy after that. So this book for sure keeps you on your toes, even though there's a car chase and that sounds, you know, normally boring for a book, it's very well executed, I think, and I, I definitely just could not stop reading. Um, I did not expect where this book was going, so if you're looking to be surprised by a twist, this is a good book too. For that, um, but I think I would give it overall a 3 out of 5, only because the way things wrap, it's just very sickening. It's sickening. Like, the entire time reading it, I was trying to anticipate where the twist was going to be and how things were going to go, and the way they went was just not for me. I know if something like this would actually happen in real life. I hope it doesn't, but it just really made me feel shitty. I did not like it. I don't know how it could have been done better. I think they would have just had to change the entire the entire theme. But yeah, so Run and Red, like heart pounding, it says there in a review. It is. It's like really keeps you on your toes. Um, but you know, again, the way it wraps, not for me. Um, and that is it for now. So that's what I've been reading this past couple of months. If you have any recommendations of thrillers, please drop them in the comments below. I just love reading thrillers. I mean, the last one I, that I read before all of these was Verity, and I made a very long video about it, and I thought that one was really engaging, um, too. But I just, I really want to find that, like, you know, chef's kiss thriller where, you know, it keeps you on your toes, you cannot stop reading it, and it wraps in a way that makes sense for the story and is also, um, interesting and... You know, I don't know, like not, not too far fetched. Cause some of the ones that I talked about, like like what lies between us and Run on Red, it's like you just went crazy. Like you just went nuts with the story, right? Like I don't know why. For some reason, I enjoy fiction that is kind of feasible. You know, cause it it makes it, I don't know, more interesting to me. Maybe because I like true crime. I don't know. But yeah, those two have really whack endings. Well, actually, The Inmate also has like a whack ending that I'm like, I don't know about that. Um, but The Housemaid, I recommend. But, you know, I guess if you want to take anything out of this video, The Housemaid is something you should read if you like thrillers. I think it's really good. If you're into super whack random endings that you didn't expect, I think The Inmate is really good. Um, if you want a page turner that you can't drop, What Lies Between Us for sure is good. You know, just very crazy ending and family dysfunction, I guess if that's a trigger warning to you, keep that in mind. And Run and Red also has a trigger warning for just bad vibes. Think, oh, I don't want to spoil it, but just, just, just be mindful going into that book. Anyway, I don't know if that was helpful, but thank you so much for watching. Again, please drop recommendations in the comments below, and I will give you another update on whatever else I read, um, whenever that's available. <laughs> Bye.